Welcome to Global Eat, the Global Eat and Travel Network featuring food connections to people and places. I'm Agnes Chung. Today we speak with Canadian chef Kevin Cherkas on why he chose Asia, specifically Bali in Indonesia, to open his restaurant Kuka Flavors. Why Asia? Asia is Listen, Asia is dynamic. Everything's happening in Asia. People are doing things in Asia. Uh, we wanted the idea of going to Spain, which now economically is obviously not where it needs to be, uh, and and to try to do a, a type of uh, business that's based on disposable income. It just didn't make sense. You've got people that are closing uh, businesses that've been open for a hundred years, places that are selling shoes for a hundred years. Uh, they didn't need another restaurant, and it was too big of a risk. And conceptually, we thought. What we could do in Asia would be unique. You know that being a Western cook in Asia, you know, and using local ingredients, it, it's different. You know, so for us, why Asia? Why not? <laughs> listen, I, I mean, listen, uh, sky's the limit. I worked in New York. I've worked in Spain for years. Why not in Europe? Uh, as opportunities present itself, I never had the opportunity. The best opportunity that uh, my wife Virginia and me had ever had was to do this project in Bali. That was the only person that was willing to take a big enough risk on us, as people willing to operate and build and run an amazing world-class restaurant. N not every day that happens. So if it would have been a guy in New York saying, "Hey, listen, why don't you do something on 65th and Park in Madison?" Maybe. But it didn't happen, and what Bali gave us for an opportunity, we took it. We took the first opportunity that came our way because uh, it seemed like a good one. And what excites you about Bali? Actually, Bali Bali is not very exciting. It's it's kind of very tranquil and very docile, and it's a beautiful island. But there's it's not like a a, a major massive city. I think the most exciting thing about Bali is the guests that we get, the customers that come with expectations from all over the world, and they are coming. People come to Bali, which is a tourist island, from all over the world. You've got people from Asia that are coming to Bali to see what it's going on, what's going on there, and you've got people from all over uh, Europe and all over the world coming to Bali to see what, what is this Bali place. And by serving the ingredients of Indonesia, prepared in a different way. We're able to showcase the flavors of, of where we are in a very unique, very diverse style of cooking. And uh, what excites me about Bali? The job, the guests, the products. Do you see yourself in five years expanding your restaurant beyond Bali? Yeah, slowly, very, 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 very slowly. We have a team of people that have been so unbelievable that work for the restaurant. And the idea was quite simply, make sure we can give this opportunity, this feeling of being able to open something and have something of your own, be able to give that to other people. Because people outgrow things, like the soft shell crab, they become too big for the shelves. And we have some people in the restaurant that are too big just to be housed under one unit. We want to expand to give them more, more opportunities within the company. Because not only do they deserve it, but they're capable. So do you see your restaurant expanding? Jakarta, in Indonesia. I would love to do something maybe one day in Japan. Who knows? We are definitely looking. The idea is, this is Canada, mm -hmm. like a salmon, that's where I want to go back to, like mm -hmm. spawning. Mm -hmm. This is where we are right now. The idea would be to have a few on the way and eventually get ourselves back to Canada.